Welcome back to CAD CAM tutorial. Today we will learn how to use so SOLIDWORKS surface lofted surface command, trim face command and thickness command in SOLIDWORKS surface tool. I hope you like it. So let's start to create this simple shoes. Uh, the, our aim is to how to use this lofted surface and some surface tools in SOLIDWORKS. So let's start to create this simple shoes. Now here I will select file, new. I'll choose your parts even you can select here advanced and choose part both are same thing whatever you like select here ok I'll make the background plain I'll keep image quality higher now first we will make the sole for the bay for the shoes actually we are going to learn some surface command so first we will create a sole so I'll select here top plane is sketch center line make sure it is horizontal uh, this actually this dimension to 85 millimeter now let me select here center line I'll make some lines this length let's make 40 millimeter enter and uh, I'll, I'll need one more here enter 40 millimeter enter and the last one and the last one we will keep 50 millimeter enter now select all these lines for construction purpose now let's define this dimension 80 millimeter and uh, gap between these two lines 70 millimeter now this is defined let me choose here a spline so I'll start with this point to this point here here and this is the last point right click select now let's adjust with vertical here also select vertical but let me little down this one makes horizontal oh sorry just undo select this one horizontal ok that's fine uh, ok this seems perfect let me choose here mirror I'll select this one and against this line ok so this is a kind of sole ok now select feature select extruded boss base 12 millimeter ok now it's time to make the upper part of shoes with the help of surface command so first we will create a plane I'll select here plane I'll select this face and make the plane 80 millimeter above this plane ok I'll select here plane a sketch take the normal position now here we will make the uh, upper opening of shoes so I'll prefer here select okay ninety five millimeter thirty millimeter that's it let me start with select this line for construction purpose and let's define this line also 
32 millimeter and from here to here also 32 millimeter okay now let's start with spline from here to here and uh, let's keep one point here one point here and this is the last point exit now this one 29 millimeter we will little shift inside now it's up to us we, we can adjust according to our requirement we can just adjust with the help of these arrows this is rough dimension not the perfect dimension okay i feel this is fine i'll select this one vertical now this seems better exit now let me select uh, hide this plane i'll choose front plane a sketch normal i'll choose here spline and i'll create now select the end point of spline and this curve pierce the same thing here the bottom and this pierce that's it take the normal position now let's make select this spline and we'll make little curve because from the back side shoes become little more cur like curvy okay this seems perfect exit again select front plane A sketch normal now let's make front spline connect from here to here to here this point and go inside pierce take the normal position now let's adjust this one see you can adjust this is up to us it seems more better okay this is all the this point should be pierce otherwise it creates difficulty okay exit now i'll make some more i'll choose here 3d sketch select this spline and i'll randomly select from this point to this point exit okay randomly i'll choose here and i'll make little curvy exit again i'll choose 3d sketch spline and i'll comes the other side from here to this exit now just shift according to okay 
now this is the boundary and uh, the things we created here edit feature uh, delete this one in one geometry we can create only one item not more than one exit now again i'll try 3d sketch a spline this is rough dimension nothing worried about this okay now we created all the shapes and geometry here now let's see how to use this lifted surface command i'll select here this face and this curve now you can see a kind of shoe shape now here we have guided curve i'll select this one now see it took the shape and i'll select the back see it took the back shape now here we created two more lines so i'll select this line and here this line see okay now look it it's a shape of a shoe how we created with the help of lifted surface this is very important command in surface now let's make some cutouts and all select the plane the sketch normal and uh, let me select corner rectangle just define this one 15 mm or 12 mm is far better Sixty millimeter. Connect with origin point, and select this line horizontal so that this geometry will comes in the center point. Fifty-eight millimeter. That's it. Uh, I'll select some line. for construction purpose let me define some circles 4 mm 4 mm 4 mm 4 mm Ten millimeter. This four hole seems perfect. Let's reduce this side. Three point arc. And draw a half circle. Select the center line for construction purpose. mirror entity select this all circles mirror about this mid line okay now we don't need any more dimensions just i'll go to surface trim surface now you will see here preview the sketch is selected remove selection 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 now see here we selected all the holes 
and this cutout choose here ok now look now let's so let's try some color so that it looks fine this one I'll choose some rubber matte rubber but it should be little okay grayish okay that's it now let's select the top face and I'll apply some fabric clothes beige cotton oh that's look nice let's apply first thickness 1.5 millimeter select this the thickness goes inside that's okay uncheck the merge result so that it will happen okay now select face cotton beige and uh, you can inside allo uh, allocate some other like uh, you have miscellaneous sponge or something like this so i hope you like it how to use this lufted surface command and uh, this trim surface command and thickness command in solidworks surface tutorial i hope you like it don't forget to share and like our videos and subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks thanks for watching